actually going to be talking about connecting to life and death. So Colleen Winia is going to be talking about her experiences of loss and how she helps people bring joy back into their lives. So I'd like to ask Colleen to come up on stage. I'm Colleen Winia, and it's fantastic to be a part of a Bill conference. This is my heaven. This is my heaven on earth. This was taken about a year ago uh, from my home. So I just wanted to show you a little bit of what makes me feel good. Because my whole teaching uh, today, we're talking about life, and we're talking about death, but the whole object is to feel good so that we can live a very successful life. Uh, next slide, please. <laughs> All right, so uh, what we're going to talk about today is bringing joy and success back into your life after a loss, particularly today we're going to focus on a death. You know, if you've lost someone in your life, who here has ever lost someone close to them in their life? Right, and if you haven't, who here knows somebody who's ever lost someone close to them? And the devastation that they've gone through, the grief that's happened. Well, it's happened to me. It's happened to me for 20 years. I've lost a lot of loved ones. So we're just going to touch on why trust me, you know, why listen to what I'm chatting about today. I'm going to share a few about my gifts through grief that I've been through. I'm going to share with you a few afterlife signs of my loved ones who've connected and give you some information. There goes me. Back on? Very good. All right. Um, I'm going to touch on the five biggest myths of spirit communication. I'm going to give you five benefits of connecting um, and learning interpreting spirit signs. So the whole point is to alleviate that grief and that pain. And when you can feel your loved ones around you who you've lost, it's not so bad. Uh, it was devastating for me, but it became better. And uh, and then how that all ties into the law of attraction, which we all talk about, the law of attraction for attracting into our lives better, more love, more money, better relationships, uh, and how our loved ones support us on a daily basis. And finally, at the end, if, if anyone's interested in a breakout session or a little chat, I'm offering a free gift. So next slide, please. All right, so why trust me? Uh, 20 years, uh, lost my loved ones, dad and cousin, 20 years ago. Uh, coming from the corporate world, it threw me for a loop as I grieved and opened my heart and learned to connect. Um, Mike goes off and on here, uh, so get used to it. So transformational coaching, this is just a little bit about me. Reset your vibe, I help people feel. Would you want me to? Okay. Ready to go? Gives me something to do with my hands. I'm, I'm half French, I'm not. But I love to talk with my hands, so <laughs> this will just keep them still so you can actually see me. All right, so a uh, little ba bit of background. Uh, oh, sure, oh, oh sorry, I, I did that, right? So now, can you go back just briefly? Thank you. Um, yeah, you know what? You're gonna learn about me through this. So this just, uh, I've got years of experience supporting people to reset their vibe, to help them feel amazing from the inside out. Body work, massage, uh, but most of all, the experience that I've had with loved ones who've passed over is why I'm here today. So let's go to the next slide. Guys, this is my spirit family. I started with an experience where my dad in the lower right corner and Rob, just above him, transitioned 19 and 20 years ago, both to cancer within nine months of each other. And I didn't understand what was death. You know, what happens when you die? And shortly thereafter, I would feel their presence. Now, there was huge doubt. I thought I was going crazy, you know, having these sensations that my loved ones were trying to communicate with me. And yet, I'm like, no, nah, I don't think I'm dreaming. So I'm going to touch on three examples to give to you that you may have been, you know, experiencing already in your life. So, and this is really close to, to my heart and to probably many of your hearts because of my loved ones here, without going into detail, two of them took their lives this past year. Two of my cousins, one in January and uh, one in the spring, and they gave up. They, they thought that, you know, there was no hope. 
So I'm here to enlighten people. There is hope, and these guys connect with me all the time. They want to show us while we're in our human form that there is hope and limitless opportunities, and please don't give up. Next slide. All right, some of the ways that our loved ones connect with us. You guys may have these experiences. I may not be talking to, you know, uh, folks who have never had these experiences. Maybe you haven't. But uh, the top three ways that our loved ones have shown their presence to me, which has helped me uh, become a better support to other people in my client business, is dreams. You know, there's dreams is really, really common. Electrical occurrences. I'm going to give you a story about my cousin that is hilarious. Uh, movement of objects. This one's really cool because if you're a messy person and your home is kind of out of, you know, disarray, they're probably not going to communicate with you through movement of objects because you're not going to notice. But uh, my mom is here today with, with me in the audience. And she, uh, woo, and she, um, she wasn't a believer in the beginning. But things kept happening to her. And she's like, Colleen, what's going on? This is really weird. I'm going nuts. No, you're not. But it took me, um, my loved ones wouldn't give up. They don't give up. They may have given up in their life here and transition, but now they're free. And they know they can keep connecting with us. Anyways, we'll cover a few of that. There's smells, inspirational thought. You ever get that download? You're just like, aha. Um, wow, you know, I, you're, get, where did this come from? All of a sudden, you're feeling that presence of the loved one. They're kind of like their name popped in, like a computer, a download. Uh, synchronicities or coincidences, there's no coincidences, in my opinion. Just this is my opinion. Uh, really, we're, we're all here in co-creation together. Visions, clairvoyant, lots of different ways they connect. Let me give you three of them. Next slide, please. Okay, here's dad. This is my dad, my sweetheart. He's 20 years transitioned, and um, picture of him and I in uh, the Netherlands. This picture on the right side, he loves to play games with me. 20 years, this is a picture of my side table in my bedroom, and generally if this poem in this frame is positioned so if you walk you know, in, you could see the poem, but I can clean off and dust and reposition these objects, and over time, they, they just apparently move. And this is when I've lived alone. There's been nobody else in the house, when not in partnership. 20 years, doesn't matter what I put on the table, doesn't matter how often I dust. <laughs> it eventually, over time, you know, so there's many messages in these. Next slide, please. Rob, oh, this is my cousin, this is my babe. Uh, we were 27 days apart, and he passed over at 27 due to cancer. So my teaching is prevention, right? I'm really passionate about nutrition, fitness, taking care of yourself. He loves to play with electricity. Why? I don't know. You can learn about your loved ones through their personality. Rob's personality, as an example, is huge energy, just massive energy. Young man, just loves sports, dancing, singing. So what does he do? 20 years ago, 19, I guess, he, um, I wake up one morning when I'm in, I don't know what's going on, and I hear this radio, I wake up to the radio station, and it's loud. And again, I'm living alone at this point. And I thought, oh, I guess I bumped the volume button, right? So the next morning, I turn it down. Next morning, it's loud again. And I'm like, hmm, okay. I guess I bumped the button again. Third morning, it happened again. And finally, I'm starting to like, there, there's a pattern here. I'm not getting this. Fourth or fifth morning, I don't quite remember which one it was, I wake up, and it was like a completely different radio station. It was set to a Chinese. I don't know Chinese guys, but it was like, nyo, 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 and I started laughing. It was like a, a download, and I knew there was something more going on here. And so the knowingness eliminated my doubt, and my, that eliminated my fear. So now I'm becoming more curious about this afterlife thing. This radio clock, I had to take a picture of it because it's the same one I still own in my, in my bedroom right now. It's really 
And 1111, if you guys are into numerology, I had to take a picture at that point. Uh, next slide, please. And just quickly here, this is my sweet, sweet sister. 10 years ago, um, she transitioned in January. And uh, her name is Corrine. And the pictures, and we can connect outside of this uh, if you would like to see some uh, or hear some more stories. But these are photos where, as an example, I come home to my office desk one day, and that picture on the upper right uh, is an open space created on my desk. And the photos there were transitioned, was a f is a photo of her daughter, my niece, moved, and the photo of myself at my favorite mountaintop. You know, I come in, there wasn't anybody in my home between the time I saw a client and the time I got home from exercise. And I'm like, woo! So I kind of grabbed the iPhone and did a selfie video and, you know, no makeup, sweaty hair, but it was fun. Um, and there's some other really cool events that she does. So next slide, please. Five, the five biggest myths, according to me, um, of of people who see things about spirit communication. The first one, loved ones no longer feel pain. I believe that if they passed over with cancer or pain in their body, yeah, they've shed their human, their body, so they don't carry that same level of pain going forward. But what my sister and my loved ones have shown me, because my sister led a very painful um, alcoholic life that you know, we all know someone who's been through the spiral and down, down, couldn't get out. And so she um, has since shown me that you take yourself when you go. And I only wish my cousins who um, transitioned and took their lives this past year knew that because I think they were trying to leave the pain. But when they transition, I'm being shown that they, they take themselves where you go. Accessible for a limited period of time. That's, uh, sometimes you read this stuff, different people has different opinions. I'm not judgmental, this is my experience. They have shown me um, through education that they're accessible to me. Dad, 20 years, Rob, 19, my, my sister, 10. Um, they're around and I love it. It makes me feel lighter. Connect only through psychics and mediums, no. We're all intuitive. You all have the ability to connect with your loved ones. I know many of you in the room already have. So um, anybody can. Don't know which spirit is communicating. I can help you with that. Uh, yes, you can. Uh, it's, an, it's like an aha. It's like a sensation. It's like a, a, their name drops down, like a computer download. Uh, it's fascinating once you start to trust yourself. So this whole reason I'm sharing this information is we're all affected by life and death. But really, guys, this is about learning to trust yourself. This is my passion in life. And finally, um, there's a belief. Sometimes people say to me, my clients, and we have to let them, our loved ones go. We have to get over this, you know? No. No, you don't. They're with you. They've been with me. Um, yeah. Next slide, please. Interpreting spirit signs. So these are just five of the many random benefits, many, many benefits uh, that, that spoke to me. Uh, the first one's pretty straightforward, easing pain and grief. When you can connect with your loved one, you, you move through grief a lot faster and joy returns back to your life. So you become a more magnetized for whatever it is that you want in your life. Overcoming fear about death. Well, I haven't transitioned yet. Uh, in this body, um, but I do have less fear, I, I think about it. Realizing the gift of living life more fully. If anyone who's been, there's some uh, people in the room here today, uh, someone in particular, he was sharing her story uh, at three o'clock, and you know, she's been given uh, renewed life uh, f through her pain, and so learning how to communicate with spirits, that's cool. So. That's a benefit, you know, when you can connect with your loved one. And deepen intuition, right? So if you can learn how to connect with them, you can deepen your own intuition for seeing, feeling, hearing, and trusting. And that will reach out to your business, to your loved ones, uh, to everything you desire in your life. Next slide, please. 
And finally, what's this all about? For me, I chose to talk about life and death. But really, really, the message from my loved ones is because they want us to choose healthier lifestyle choices. All right? So uh, they absolutely say, you guys, there's a better way. I didn't know it when I was here. There is a better way. And I would love for you to give yourself that opportunity. Um, reach out. There's enough beautiful people in the world that can help us realign and find ourselves. So believe in possibilities. You guys can do it. What's your dream? You know, believe in possibilities. Relinquish harbored emotional pain. That, that would, that's great. Trust your inner GPS. I love calling my inner guidance my inner GPS, right? Everyone knows what a GPS system is. May not know how to use one, <laughs> but, you know, we all have one. Um, what we give energy and focus to expands, right? That's the nature of the, lo the universal law of attraction. If you think you're, you're ill, you're ill. If you think you're healthy, you're living from a health perspective, and you're creating more health, more money, more love. Um, love and nourish your body. This one is hugely exciting to me because I've been through the dark of the dark as well. I've been through eating disorders. I've been through abuse. I've been through uh, near-death experiences. And I don't know, it just all kind of comes around that, you know, we, we teach and we educate and we love that which we've been through. And um, finally, reset your vibe. I'm your Reset Your Vibe coach um, because I want you to find that within yourself so that you can become a better attractor at creating whatever you like in your life. And finally, the last slide, release, resolve, reset. Connect with yourself and your loved ones. They're alive in spirit. Uh, different dimension, but they're here with you. So utilize them. Free coaching, I call it. You know how much coaches cost? Use your loved ones. Um, raise your vibrations, speed up your creations, right? So you want to get feeling good. There's body work, there's emoting, there's talking about this weird stuff. Uh, but get, get feeling good. Do whatever you need to do, like our first speaker today. Get crazy, get silly, feel good in your body. And um, if you want to connect with me outside of here, I'm offering some free gifts. So thank you so much for your time, Colleen Winia. And uh, it's been a pleasure being a part of here today. Thank you.